Hello everyone and welcome to another Tamagotchi video. This time I'm going to be revisiting the Tamagotchi Mini, which I honestly always chalked up to being probably one of the worst Tamagotchi virtual pets. However, I've completely come around on this. I've done a 180, so I'm going to be starting it up and talking about why that it's it tends to be fairly overlooked in terms of Tamagotchi releases. So let's start this one up. So we set the time. And of course, I do have some complaints. Like it's not a uh, it's not a perfect virtual pet by any means. It definitely has some issues, and I definitely see why it's uh, it tends to be overlooked because there are a few things that I don't like about it. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. So let's set the time. So here we have our egg, and straight away you'll notice that the sprites are a little bit weird. Like the egg itself is kind of like. Looks like it's been zoomed in and stretched, but they haven't added ex any extra pixels to it. And when we were looking at the time earlier, it's the same case for the time. The sprites don't look the same as they do on the original Tamagotchi releases, for example, or any of the other black and white uh, Tamagotchi connections, or I say black and white, I mean monochrome, by the way, um, or, any, or any of the other monochrome screen Tamagotchis. The sprites are a little bit different, and again, they look a little bit stretched and a little bit weird, which honestly uh, makes the Tamagotchi Mini look a little bit more like a bootleg in terms of the screen. Like I've seen a lot of Tamagotchi bootlegs that have very similar looking sprites, especially this bouncing egg that we have, and that is a weird thing about it. So straight away we have the sounds being a fairly decent volume, they're not overly high pitched like on the re-release. And that makes it better than the re-release, honestly. So we have our baby here. I believe that one's called Maruchi. And we have the ability to feed it our rice, our gohan. And then we also have the okashi, yeah, the snacks. So pretty straightforward in terms of you can feed it. However, you will notice that that's all you can do. You can check the time. C does nothing on the idle screen. The only thing that you can do is you can feed it the food, the meal, or and the snack. So that's basically the gameplay, which is probably why it gets overlooked. That's it. The it you it has care mistakes and food. And it sleeps. Which is the same button as the on and off which makes it fairly similar to the Tamagotchi Nano in terms of the top button, the first button, A, whatever you want to call it, can be a multi-purpose button, and when the Tamagotchi is asleep, it is the ability to uh, turn the lights on and off for it. So here's the Tamagotchi Nano, and very similar kind of gameplay. And almost similar sprites too, however I believe that the Nano, uh, personally I just feel like the Nano does the sprites better. But then again, I think the screen, okay, the screen is the same size, never mind. So we get a lot more detail on the Tamagotchi Nano, and there's a lot more gameplay on the Tamagotchi Nano, however you'll notice that this, there's a bit of a size difference in terms of the thickness. This one has a fairly flat bottom there while the Tamagotchi Nano is more egg-shaped and round. The batteries are also different. This one takes LR44. This one takes the flat coin battery, the CR2032, I think it is, which uh, probably helps account for the size. So you'll notice that you can feed them on the Tamagotchi Nano. C on the idle screen checks the status to see how he's doing, but we also have the ability to play games on the Tamagotchi Nano, which is something that the Mini just does not have. So if you are one that likes the games on a Nano, then you'll probably be missing that the most on a Mini, because again, the gameplay is just, you feed it, you put it to sleep, you do the kind of bare minimum of virtual pet care. You can compare this with the Digimon Mini, which of course, similar idea. It is a smaller version of the original release, but 
the difference being that the Digimon Mini still can connect with other Digimon Minis and of course other three-pronged virtual pets and it also has the ability to train it so it does have the mini game whereas the Tamagotchi Mini again just has the very basic care of feeding they poop I believe they get sick off the top of my head and they fall asleep so and they get care mistakes of course you don't give it the care that it needs in the time frame that it needs it so it is just the same as the original Tamagotchi releases except without the games. Now I'm not really a fan of the games especially not on the originals so I don't mind that particularly but if you want something to you know play with uh, it's just kind of it's a lot less going on than other virtual pets but I would still recommend them again they get overlooked pretty often especially in comparison to the Tamagotchi re-releases which I've done a video on why I hate them but I I feel like they get these get overlooked in terms of people will get the re-releases rather than the mini and I honestly prefer the mini even though there's less to do on the mini I feel like it doesn't have the same complaints uh, that the re-releases does like the sound quality is fine the print quality is fine it's also kind of adorable in terms of its size. Again, it's a similar size to the Tamagotchi Nano, which is something I appreciate. I don't like a, a big hulking thing to uh, to take care of. So those are my thoughts about it. Uh, ease of use, it's, it's yeah, full, full marks for ease of use because it's, uh, maybe not full marks because I'm, oh uh, yeah, I'll deduct a point because I'm terrible at things. No, I'll, I'll I'll give it full marks just because it doesn't have the games, so it's one less thing that you have to worry about, and you don't have to worry about it, uh, you know, dying because you just give snacks instead of playing the games like you do with the re-release. And enjoyment, I'm gonna say it's kind of middle of the road for enjoyment. Again, there's not a lot of uh, fun to be had. It's just a more bare bones version of the original Tamagotchi, but that is kind of by design. It it is exactly what it's meant to be. It is meant to be a mini, slightly bare bones version of the re-release. Of, of, well, I guess the original, but re-release, I guess it is the same as the original. And uh, yeah, it's honestly not as bad as as I originally thought. I remember trying this, I was like, well, that's boring. And then I kind of ignored it. But then again, I have a lot less free time than I did when I first got this. So... I kind of appreciate the fact that there's not a lot to do and that you can kind of just have it sit there as a Tamagotchi and you don't have to worry about it too much. But I still I still feel like I prefer Tamagotchi Nanos typically. But overall, those are my thoughts on the Tamagotchi Mini. Definitely worth a shot, especially if you want something that's a little bit simpler, a little bit smaller than all the other Tamagotchi virtual pets. And uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts. So let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, etc. Et in the comments section below. Like this video for, hey, at least the shell's pretty nice, right? Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbours. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!